dear students welcome to the online classes program of higher education department punjab it is department of english language and literature of government postgraduate college attic here i am shreef zahid assistant professor of english well my dear students we have covered two lessons the first of this book was a selection of modern english essays the first lesson was pakistan and the modern world which basically is the speech of liaquat ali khan then our essays start and out of the series of essays we have started from descriptive essays in your syllabus two descriptive essays are added and we have completed the first one and today we are going to start the second and the last of descriptive essays which is whistling of words this essay has been written by d h lawrence so first of all let us have an introduction of the writer as the word essay mean to try to attempt to do so the original sense of the word essay completely justifies its use for lawrence in this essay we will come across so many definitions of essay and all of them are covered up in this attempt of d h lawrence when he writes about nature his essays are an attempt and they cover the definition because that is a struggle struggle to articulate complex attitudes to society and people's reflection and reaction towards literature including their trend towards religion their priorities about education and the philosophy they obtain from all of these things his style relies on underlining and insistence he focuses on the top priority what that was lawrence was essentially a moralist who believed that modern man was becoming divorced from his natural feelings of course on the one hand if we are thankful to this industrial revolution and modern age bestowing us many comforts in life but we can't ignore that on the other hand it has deprived of deprived all of us of so many virtues of morality in this lesson in this essay whistling of birds as in countless passages of poetry or pages of his novel and essays lawrence expresses not only his natural feelings but also we observe his fascination for literature as well let us have an overview on his early life david herbert lawrence english novelist he has been bestowed as an artist with so many qualities because he was not only an novelist a poet a painter a critic and of course an essayist who was the son of a nottinghamshire miner his mother was an ex school teacher who encouraged lawrence to become a teacher his youth was troubled by an obsessive relationship with his mother 
and by tuberculosis symptoms which made him increasingly irritable. After graduating University College Nottingham, he worked as a school teacher in Croydon School until 1911. Thenceforth, he devoted himself to literature. As he was an artist and no artist may easily remain away from his interest to life. And interest to life comes through interest with literature. Now about his works, his literary, literary career began with the publication of The White Peacock, which was followed by the semi-autobiographical Sons and Lovers, which became very much famous and has been included in the syllabus in so many universities. Meanwhile, Lawrence fell in love with Frida, the German wife of an English scholar whom he married in 1914, but 1914 in history is famous for the outbreak of First World War. Such a marriage in wartime added to his bitter class consciousness and heightened the persecution mania from which he had always suffered. For example, he who married and that too after falling in love but was suspected of being a German spy. Resultantly, he was expelled from Cornwall in 1917. This led to his restless travels abroad after the war. He lived in Italy, then some time he remained in Germany, some of the period he passed in Ceylon, then went to Australia, then America and Mexico. Finally, he settled on the French Riviera and died at Venus near Nice Place. Now, what is his work? Mostly, D. H. Lawrence is famous as a novelist and it is his priority towards novel which bestowed him fame. His novels include The Rainbow which was published in 1915, then Women in Love was published in 1920, then Sea and Sardinar 1921, then Kangaroo 1923, Plum Serpent 1926, Mornings in Mexico in 1927 it was published and Lady Chatterley's Lover 1928 which remained banned until 1960. Why Lawrence became so controversial that since the onset of his literary work he has to face either bindings or ban. Lawrence is chiefly remembered for his unconventional attitude to sex and for his marital explanation of extramarital relations. By fathoming and illuminating areas of human experience not previously explored in fiction, as in the past, the writers uh, deliberately remain away from this human necessity and he touched it, rather he emphasized this, which was explored in fiction. Lawrence shocked the reading public. Consequently, the cases of obscenity were instituted against him and his persecution caused great stir in the literary world. Most of the time his books remained banned, then it was lifted, then again the matters were brought into the notice of the authorities and so on. So what was his approach? Let us see about his approach towards society. His novels reflect the often contradictory emotional and intellectual impulses. And how do these impulses generate? These impulses are stirred by the circumstances of his life 
build up a personal philosophy everyone has to go through some of the experiences maybe most of the time maybe such experiences termed as pleasant one but it is not necessary that all the time these experiences remain pleasant they may be unpleasant as well so he build up his personal philosophy and the instincts are superior he is of the opinion that the instincts are superior to the reasoning of the mind so whatsoever has naturally been bestowed to human being instinctively we cannot deny and we must accept all these realities his talent extended to book reviewing then he remained busy in translation studies then philosophical discourse was uh, his uh, favorite area then he passed his time in painting and in poetry he often wrote short articles to earn some of the money his full length works never made although he was a talented one but he has to face financial constraints because he was very much vocal blunt he could not hide whatsoever he wanted to say so he explored such areas which are generally considered and from moral point of view most of the writer refrain to jot down on such topics as religion education sex and all human needs in this article which is whistling of the birds he has touched the nature and that nature he has reflected to the to, through the nature of the birds although they were welcoming but how unwillingly and how difficult way they were expressing their view point but their view point is the truth reality hard fact which cannot be denied at any stage which which ought to be accepted so this was a brief introduction of the writer in this article you will find the reflection of his life as well as uh, this article is about the love for nature so d h lawrence fascination for the nature is very much revealed in this article thank you very much for happy watching and patient listening we shall start this lesson in the next lecture a lot of this